Creating a custom single post template lets you use different layouts for specific blog posts in WordPress. Even though many WordPress themes come with custom page templates, most cannot create custom post content layouts. This video will show you how to create a custom single post template in WordPress by using SeedProd. For even more methods, please check out the article on the SeedProd blog by visiting the link in the description below. SeedProd is a drag and drop WordPress website builder that makes it easy to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts without any code. Please like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Right now, I just have a default installation of seed prod here and the only thing i added was a post so this is just a sample recreation of the actual post that's on the seed prod blog i just have a title a little bit of text and i added the featured image the first thing that we want to do is actually go ahead and head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below and we want to install the seed prod wordpress website builder you go ahead and click on get seed prod now and then select the account that makes the most sense for you let's go ahead and click on login once you have an account Enter your email address, your password, and click on Login. Next, let's click on the Download tab, the second one from the left, and we'll click on the big button here to download the plugin. Next, let's go ahead and get the license key here in the bottom left-hand corner. You can click that icon to copy it to clipboard. We can go ahead and close this tab. Next on the left-hand side, let's go to Plugins and Add New. At the top, we have Upload Plugin. Let's click on this. And if you're using the same browser as I am, you can drag this here and drop it on Choose File. If not, you can click Choose File and select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and activate the plugin. Let's go ahead and enter that license key right here and verify key. And if everything went well, you should see a green success message. We can close this tab at the bottom. So next on the left-hand side, let's head over to the theme builder. With Seedprod, you can create a custom post template in WordPress without writing code or modifying your WordPress theme folders. When you use Seedprod, it replaces the theme you currently use and lets you customize every inch of your website with its visual drag and drop builder. Now we can create every theme template by ourselves, but we also include themes. So let's go ahead and click here. And these are fully functional themes that you can import directly and instantly into your website. Here you'll see a variety of pre-made WordPress theme templates that you can use. To choose a template, hover your mouse over the thumbnail and click the check mark icon. So let's go ahead with the starter theme right here. After choosing the theme, you'll see a list of template parts, including single page, single post, blog and archive, homepage, sidebar, footer, header, etc. These are all the different elements that make up a complete WordPress theme. Typically, you can only access these theme parts by editing your WordPress theme files. But with Cprod, you can see it all in an easy visual interface. So right here, as you can see, Cprod has a custom single post template by default. But unlike the default WordPress editor and other themes, you can instantly customize the template visually. So let's go ahead and click on edit design for the single post. This will open your post template in Seedprod's visual editor. The visual editor has a two column layout. On the left are the blocks and sections you can add to your design. Then on the right is a preview where you can see the changes in real time. So here we can click anywhere on your post template to customize the layout. For example, if you click on the post title, you'll see its settings in the left hand panel. From here, we can change the headline tag, alignment, heading level, and font size. You can also click the advanced tab up here on the right hand side to change font color spacing and other styles. We can come back to our blogs by clicking the icon right here and we can see template tags. So Seaprod uses template tags to pull in dynamic WordPress content like post titles, your featured image, comments, and more. So that means you can show a variety of content in your post without editing your single post file directly. For example, you can drag the post block over and add it to the end of your content. So right here we have the post block. Let's drop it right in here. Let's click the block settings and we can just modify the way it looks and which posts it actually brings in. So right now this website only has one post currently, so that's the one that it's showing. But if you like, you can sort these by category, tags, authors. So if you have an author that wrote this post, you can have all of the related posts showing right here that are all written by that specific author. Or you can do it by category, tag, etc. There's lots of different options here, as well as the layout. So you could have maybe three posts side by side or two, whatever you wish. You can show the thumbnail if you like. So if we turn that on, you can see that here. And you have complete control over the title tag, the meta excerpt, etc. For this example, I'm going to get rid of this specific block. So for example, we could take this and move it below our title. Maybe you don't want to show the data here for the author and the date. For your actual post content here, we could go under advanced and change the topography if you wish. Maybe you want the font size a little bit different. You can make it a little bit larger. If you like, you could change the line height. So I'll put this up. Maybe it's spaced out a little bit more. You have absolute complete control over how it looks. You can italicize, bold it, underline it if you wish. And of course the color. So maybe you want it a little bit easier to read on the eyes. So you could change that to a gray. There you go. So you have complete control over this and you can add many different standard blocks and advanced blocks. Maybe you want a countdown timer. There's a specific reason for that. You could add that in here. If you'd like to show your social buttons, there's a social profiles 
or we also have the social sharing so people can share your blog posts, whatever you want to add here. You also have control over the layout. So this is a row, the blue section, so you can change the sidebar. Maybe you don't even want a sidebar, so you could get rid of that if you like. Feel free to experiment with different blocks and play around with their settings. After creating something you'd like to use as your post template, it, it's time to save it by clicking the green save button up here. You'll see a saved message if everything went well, and we can close out of here. When you're happy with how everything looks, make sure you click the enable seed prod theme button right here. This will pop up a couple messages just telling you that it's setting your home and blog page in your WordPress settings. Let's click OK and OK. So let's go ahead and visit the website and you'll see your theme here on the front page and we can visit the blog and here's the post template that we created. Again, you have full control over the design of this. So you'll notice that we changed the font size and the spacing here between it. So let's say you see something that you don't like. We can easily come back into the edit design. We can select maybe this image. I can come under advanced image border. Let's add maybe a border radius and I'll add, let's say 10 pixel border of maybe a light gray. Let's go ahead and save that and come back and refresh our post. And you can see those changes have updated in real time. Okay, so we created one single post template, but what if we want different designs for different types of posts? Well, for example, I created a second post here and I put this one in a category called tutorials. So we can actually create a unique layout for any post that has the category tutorials. You can also do this with tags or you could have specific designs for authors even if you like. So let's come back under seed prod and theme builder and I'm going to duplicate this single post. Let's click duplicate. So right here we have our single post copy and it's in draft right now so it's not active. Let's go ahead and click on edit conditions and let's rename this to single post tutorials. So this will apply only to our tutorials but to change that we need to make a few different changes here. For priority, let's change this to maybe two. It could be any priority that's higher than our single post, just to make sure that this is used over the default one that we created earlier. And we want to include this for any post that has a category called tutorials. Let's go ahead and save this. And now you can see the different conditions here that have changed. Let's go ahead and publish this. And you can see the priority here is 10 and the single post default one is zero. So this is a higher number. So this will be used over this one specifically. Let's go ahead and edit the design. And now you have complete control over this. So let's say in the tutorials, you don't want to show any author information. Maybe you don't want to have questions or comments, which might be a little weird, but let's just do that for this video. And I'll just get rid of some of these different sections. Let's just make some changes to the title here. Maybe the topography will change the font size. You can make it huge and we'll change the color. Let's go ahead and save this and exit. And let's visit the front page. Let's go to the blog and we have two different posts here. So this is the first one. And here you'll see that normal template that we created. And if we come back, we should see the new template that we created with the different colored headline. There's no comments or author box, etc. So that's how you can create different single post templates for different types of posts on your website. So you can get very creative with this. Now that you know how to create a custom single post template in WordPress, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to make a one page website in WordPress step by step. This will help you learn more of the basics of creating beautiful websites with Seedprod. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.